New England winters can be difficult to weather outside especially for these molting chickens. But thanks to this group of women at a Massachusetts retirement home, I thought it was the most foolish thing I ever heard in my life. They've knit together a solution. Never thought of it, that a chicken would wear a sweater. Now the chickens proudly strut their handmade sweaters. I mean, it's not a right. it's pantsuit. Right. It's, it's just a sweater here. <laughs> The ladies teamed up with a local nonprofit after its director asked the retirees to help with the project. It's a Sarama rooster, a variety that's native to Malaysia where it's quite a bit warmer. That's one thing that we do have a little more time now that we're retired. And uh, we use our talents, I guess, in whatever way they can be used and it makes us happy because we don't want to be, you know, just sitting in our rocking chairs. We have work to do. <laughs> For Libby Kaplan, the task helped her overcome her fear of birds. Oh, don't make noise, chicken. <laughs> when they said they were going to make the sweaters for the chickens, and everybody I told laughed at me, and they couldn't believe it. But we made the sweaters for the chickens, and I am glad that we did. The sweaters come in different sizes, colors, and patterns. And the ladies get to dress the fussy hens and roosters themselves. I think this might be a little large for her, but we'll see. Well, that's okay. It's a pretty color. The novelty isn't lost on them. They're so cute, you know, and she has several pictures. For Barbara Widmere, who's been a little ruffled by the current political climate, the sweaters provide a welcome distraction. To be honest with you, there, there's so much going on these days that's kind of contentious in the world. It was actually very calming to me to work on this. A team effort to keep these birds fashionably warm. Noreen Nasser, Associated Press. Very, very pretty.